Section 1.5 example 3 deals with multiplying and division properties of exponents. Hopefully things that you guys are very familiar with. So I'm just going to do a few example problems for you. Let's say I have in problem number 1 w times w squared times w to the third and the directions are to simplify. Well, if you recall from example 1, if we have a square, that means w times w. If we have a cube, that means w times w times w. And then, of course, this first one right here is w to the first power, so I'll just put that in front. Well, what do I have? All together, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 w's that I'm multiplying together. So therefore, this particular problem simplifies to w to the sixth. Now the question is, what did I do with the powers? If this is a 1, and this is a 2, and this is a 3, when you multiply the same variables together, very simply add the powers. OK, so dealing with exponents, when you're dealing with exponents, multiply means add the powers. So make sure you memorize that. Problem B. Let's say we have 3x squared times 2x to the third. And the directions, again, are to simplify. First thing we need to know, there is a time sign in between the 3 and the x. There is a time sign between the 2 and the x cubed. As you learned in one of the earlier sections, the commutative property of multiplication means we can switch things around. So I can take the 3 and the 2, which are actually called coefficients, and I can switch them at, and put them next to each other. And then I can take the x squared and the x cubed and put them next to each other. Now, we need to remember, people, that the 3 and the 2 are not exponents. They are numbers. They are coefficients. You do the math symbol it says. It says times. So therefore, 3 times 2 is 6. Now, the exponents are what we add together for letters that are similar. So x squared times x to the third, you add the exponents, and you get x to the fifth. And therefore, that is our simplification of our original problem. Remember again, coefficients are treated as normal numbers. Do what you, the math operation says. OK, so let's go on. Example number three. Let's do 2x to the third, parentheses, negative 5x. All right, I want you guys to do this one, and I want you to pause the video, and when you're all done, you may check your answer by playing the video and continuing on. All right, if you did this correctly, you notice the 2 and the negative 5, those are not powers. They are coefficients, so those two should be multiplied together to give you negative 10. What I'm underlining in black, x to the third, and this would be x to the first power. Those are two things multiplied together. We're going to add the powers, and you should get x to the fourth. That should be your simplification of this particular problem. And that is how you multiply and use properties of exponents when you multiply. Remember, multiplying exponents means add. Now, let's go to division and exponents. 
fourth example in this particular section. Let's say that we have x to the fourth divided by x. Okay. If we expanded this out, as we did back a couple examples ago, x to the fourth means x times x times x times x. In the denominator, it's x to the first power. That's just 1x. Now, if we reduce, 1x on top would reduce with 1x on the bottom, thus leaving us with x times x times x on the top, which is x to the third. Now, how do you take these original powers when you divide and get x to the third? Obviously, you minus them. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, division of exponents means subtract. Example number 5. Let's do 6w to the 5th divided by 2w to the 3rd. Once again, let's keep in mind that these two numbers are not exponents. They are normal numbers. In the box, in the black box, it says 6 divided by 2. That's 3. Now, in the green box, I have exponents. w to the fifth divided by w to the third. F take the powers. 5 minus 3, that means we should have w squared as our variable. And that is the simplification of this particular problem. Now, I would like the class, I would like you all to stop the video and do this particular problem. 10x to the 4th, y to the 5th, divided by 2xy to the 4th. Please pause the video at this time and solve this particular problem. All right. Hopefully, we all recognize 10 divided by 2. Those are not powers. Those are numbers. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, here's a particular problem with more than one variable. Well, you just treat each variable separately. So I'm going to take care of the x's first. x to the fourth divided by x to the first. 4 minus 1 is x to the third power. Then I'm going to take care of the y's second y to the fifth divided by y to the fourth. We minus the powers and we get y to the first. And that should be your answer to the problem. And that is how you use properties of multiplication and division when dealing with exponents.